The next thing I'm going to talk about is searching for authority records, or how do you find out what the correct subject heading is to use. The Library of Congress subject headings are available in two formats. There is the print version, which is also colloquially known as the Red Books, for obvious reasons. And when you're using the print version, the way to tell when you found uh, an authorized subject heading is that the heading will be in bold. So as you can see there on the upper left, knitting, if you were to do a search for that and you would just browse this alphabetically, knitting is in bold. So that means that is an authorized heading. Whereas on the other side of the screen, if you look up bikes, you'll see that that term is not in bold. So that is not an authorized subject heading. Instead, it tells you to use either bicycles or motorcycles. And so you would use one of those, depending on which one your book was about. The Library of Congress subject headings are also available online as part of the Library of Congress Authorities. And this can be found at authorities.loc.gov. And that URL is at the bottom of the screen there. To get started looking for subject headings using the online version, you would click on Search Authorities. and choose Subject Authority Headings from the Search Type menu. And let's repeat our search from before with Knitting. Now remember, when you're looking at these headings online, you're still browsing an alphabetical list. So you're going to get an alphabetical list starting with whatever you typed in. This is not a keyword search. Now the way to know that a heading is the correct subject heading to use is that the red button next to it will say Authorized. And so this is the case for Knitting. So we know that this is a subject heading that we can use. But in order to verify, you could click through, click that red button, and look at the record. If you click on the link that says Authority Record, you'll be able to see that the term that has heading next to it is the authorized heading. So in this case, knitting is an authorized subject heading. If you click through one screen further, you'll get the marked record. You'll be able to tell what the authorized subject heading is because it will be in the 150 field, as knitting is in this case. So that was pretty easy because it was an authorized term that we were looking for. Let's go back and do the search for bikes, like we did in the print version. So if you type bikes into the search box, here's your alphabetical list of results again. And notice that the red button next to bikes just says references. It does not say authorized. This means that this is not the correct subject heading to use, and we'll have to click through to see what it tells us to use instead. So click on that red button, and you'll see that it's telling us to either see bicycles or see motorcycles. So let's say that the book that we have is about bicycles. We'd go ahead and click on that, and it would perform a new search for us and give us a list of results for bicycles. This time you can see that the red button does say authorized, so we have found an authorized term. 